Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. Oh my gosh, that feels weird to say, but really exciting and I'm really nervous. And yeah, this is awesome. So thank you for being here. I I can't even put into words how long I've wanted to do this. And this being just like my first step towards something I really am passionate about, which is makeup and beauty, is just so invigorating and freeing and so exciting. And so I'm really thankful um, for any of you that are watching this and enjoy this. Uh, today I decided to do a, I'm going to call it a no time to get ready look, summer look. Uh, since it is summer, it's a very lightweight, but still glam, that highlight though, tutorial. Um, I'm using a lot of new products that I have been collecting over the past month or so, and I really hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, I really enjoyed making it. I really did. It was really... This is awesome. Like, I'm actually making YouTube videos. This is so weird. I've talked about it for so long, and here I am actually doing it. So I just want to say thank you so much to all the people who have been there for me leading up to this video. And I'm so excited to make more for you guys. And I really hope that you enjoy this tutorial. So let's get started. So, guys, I am going to honest... First, I'm going to start with putting on a headband just to get my hair out of my face so I'm not getting any makeup in it. I'm going to start out with being extremely honest and saying I actually just <laughs> finished filming this video and then literally, of course, this is when I had to realize it, right after I was done filming, done so, I realized that my microphone has been off the whole time. Just my luck. It's okay though. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let it get the best of me, but do I wish that didn't happen? Yeah. So I did just take off my makeup again, but I did not take off the brows because I was not about to do that again. So, brows are done. Um, like I explained in the video prior, I hate my brows and I totally overplucked them as a little girl because I wanted to look older. So a lot of times with this look, actually, I do not even do my brows. I will just go over them with clear brow gel and kind of set them in place. Because for a really long time, actually, I didn't even do my brows. I think until about, so let's say I'm a junior in college right now. So I didn't really start doing my brows till probably freshman year of college. Like actually taking an interest in them. So to me, doing my brows was not significant because I just I hated them so much and honestly they're still not my strong suit I just didn't even bother to like touch them at all so I already had brows done then and I luckily didn't film that because I that would have taken way too long because I take way too long my brows and I usually never like how they come out but today they are okay so we're just gonna jump in to the face so the first thing I'm going to start off doing is primer. I never use a specific type of primer for this look. Well, that's a lie. Actually, I will go more towards hydrating primers and primers that don't necessarily have silicone because this is all about really no time. This can be a look that just transcends into the rest of the year, but I'm mostly focusing it on right now and it being summer and being a lightweight makeup and easy to wear and easy to do. So I'm going to, this is not a primer that I actually use on the reg. I, I've only used it twice I think. I just got it in my Sephora play box which is like one of those monthly makeup subscriptions like Ipsy or I don't know I'm blanking out on any other ones. I know there are other ones but for some reason Ipsy is the first one coming to my mind right now. So it's kind of like that where it's only $10 a month and it's a box you get every month with about six products in it. They are not full size but that's fine. And what I like about it the most is that they're products from Sephora, so I know that they're most likely going to be brands that I like or that I'm really willing to try. 
So this is a primer that I got in my box this month, for the month of June. It is the mini, the Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield. It is broad spectrum SPF 30. And this doesn't really do much for my skin in making it pore minimizing or it kind of hydrates it but not so much it claims to blur the skin and it does a little bit but I don't really think it adds to the longevity of my makeup or the improvement of my skin it does blur for a little bit but I'm more so going to be using this because it has SPF 30 because it's really hot out you should be using SPF at all times of the year I'm gonna be honest I'm really bad at that but I especially will use it in the summer and if I'm not going to be taking pictures I will use it as primers and what I actually like about this one is it's clear so it's not hopefully actually I've never tried taking pictures with this not going to have as much flashback or white cast on your skin as a regular moisturizer like a white moisturizer with SPF probably would. It's just good for us. It's a good way to put an SPF um, in a sheer day. So I've done that and then I'm going to and I will do this at any at any makeup look after I prime. I will use any type of facial spray or setting spray or primer water or yada yada depending on the look that I'm doing. So this one is, this is by Mario Badascu. It's their Aloe Herb and Rose Water Spray. It is just very refreshing. It doesn't so much add to the longevity of makeup, but it does do a really good job of mixing powders and liquids together, like when you're done with your face. And it's also just great to carry around as a good refresher throughout the rest of the day. So I will always use something like this after I prime, just so that it brings a little more life back to my skin before I put any product on it. So I make a really cute face when I do it. But it is just so nice, literally at any point in doing your makeup at any time of the day. It is a great refresher and it smells good and it just makes you feel fancy. It's a rose water in it. It's like you're in a, that was weird. So it's like you're at a spa or something, you know? I don't know, I've never been to a spa, but I would imagine um, it's kind of like this. Anyway, so I am going to move on to a little bit of color correcting. Um, this is a step that is literally completely optional in this look because you're not using foundation in this look, so color correcting is not going to hide itself as well as opposed to when you would use a foundation. So the main reason I'm using it is because, I'm sure you've already noticed, this little guy that's just, you know, so excited, trying to make its way through. <laughs> yeah, ruining my face, you know, whatever. I actually did this to myself because I picked up my face, lesson learned, I just had to do it, it was staring at me and I gave in and yeah, now, now I'm living with the consequences. But I do have a couple of other little bumps and texture around my forehead, which is not usually the case in my skin. There's something that is just acting out in my skin. I don't know if it's a product that I'm using or probably my diet <laughs> or whatever. I always have to catch myself because I want to call every makeup sponge a beauty blender. This is a Real Techniques beauty sponge. Beauty Blender is a company and do you know like there's a lot of other things out there like that. Like the one that I always think of for some reason when I think of, I'm, I'm sure there's a term for this but I don't know what it is. When you label something the same name as one brand has called it. So I always think of like, like I'm trying not to say like. I always think of Jello, like the brand Jello, the brand Jello, because it's just flavored gelatin. There are other brands that have flavored gelatin, but you're still gonna call them Jello because that's just kind of now what it's used to universally no universal. Well, whatever, it's just known like that, and so I always want to call every beauty sponge a beauty blender, but it's not like that. 
So we're moving on. I am going to be using what is going to be acting as my foundation today, kind of. And it is the... I have a lot of mini things because they're easier to carry around. And I'm broke, so I just, you know, I want nice things, but I'm not going to invest in the full size. So this one, though, I actually got uh, with a little, like, gift with purchase at Ulta, I think. I'm really loving it. So I am just going to... Oops. I am just going to drop this onto my face, like so, come out. I know I'm running out of this, I'm gonna have to buy the full size, but I'm just holding off onto that because, oh, <laughs> oh that was a mistake. Now that I've made a complete mess of my face, um, I promise is not, this is dark, it actually comes out really sheer, I mean it is called the Bare Skin Sheer Sun, so by Bare Minerals, I think I already said that, but it's just a really good, well, base of color, and I know it looks really scary on my face right now, but once everything is said and done, it's actually just really pretty and luminous. It adds a good color to the skin without using foundation and a nice tan. I look like I just got a fake tan, but I'm going to put some directly onto my beauty blender and put it down my neck so that I can match my face. <laughs> yeah, I love this stuff. It's good stuff. Okay, so... Sorry, I'm tired. Um, I am done with that. And I am going to lightly, somewhat lightly, conceal the face. I am going to be using my pretty much empty Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Coverage Concealer. And I'm using it in the shade Light Neutral. And I'm just going to conceal the spots I would regularly conceal. gonna blend out and yeah okay so normally at this point I will either do one of two things when it comes to my under eye if I'm going to be wearing this all day and I want to keep this coverage that I have going on because this isn't much coverage of the face this whole tutorial um, I will lightly bake my face, but since I'm literally going nowhere after this, I'm just going to go ahead and set it with um, a setting powder from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. But I'm just going to take a Real Techniques setting brush and that middle banana e shade from the Shade and Light Palette and just lightly pat and set my under eyes. I'm not going to swipe otherwise it's just going to mess up all the concealer and not make it look as smooth. So now we are going to move on to setting the whole face. You could of course just leave it like this. Leave the color that you already have from that sheer skin and the luminosity because it is. I don't know if you can see it on camera but it is a little bit more luminous and there's not much coverage. It really just is like your skin but I am going to be extra and add a little bit of a foundation powder and the one that I'm going to be using is Studio Fix by MAC and it is NC42 so it looks like this and I'm just going to use this with a Sonia Kashuk fluffy brush that is so old I don't have any recollection or any way to see what kind of brush it is but I know it's still available at Target and it's just a big fluffy blending brush for you. No, powder brush, whatever. So I'm going to take some of that and just lightly pat it on my face just to bring more color back to my skin because I always feel like after I bake or set my concealer, it kind of washes my face out. And I'm sure it does that to a lot of people, but just bronzing with like a bronzer is not enough for me. I like to bring a little more coverage and color back to the skin using a foundation powder that is matches my skin or gives my skin a tan. Should I feel? Okay. So, 
that is done. And now I am going to move on to the holy trinity of the face, which is bronzer, blush, and highlighter. Probably my favorite part of doing my makeup. Mm, I don't know. I think makeup is just my favorite. But I'm going to start out with bronzer and I'm going to be taking my extremely dirty Morphe M527. It looks like this, like a paddle brush. It's, it's kind of thin right here and then it goes out. It's perfect for bronzing. And I am going to be taking MAC Gimme Sun, baby. Looks like this. It's a beautiful, great for this look. It just looks like you got some sun, hence the name. And what I love about this is, is how warm it is. I am very much a lover of anything warm. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to blush. And the blush that I'm going to be using is my absolute favorite and a lot of people's absolute favorite. It is Milani Luminoso. It is the most beautiful blush in the entire world. And I just love putting it all over my face. I love it. It's just such a complimentary color. It's so romantic. That's what I think of it when I put it on. It's just very like... <laughs> Whatever. I'm just naturally blushing. It's just my face. Okay, maybe not because I put on so much. But I just love it. And I love putting it on my nose. So it looks like it just came in from a cold winter's day. I am a blush lover. I love putting it all over my face. Lots of it. And so now for the last of the holy trinity of makeup. I'm going to be using highlighter and I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics highlighter. This thing is ginormo. I underestimated how big this was because this is the first one I've ever bought. I just got it two weeks ago. And I always heard other people talking about how huge it was and I'm like, probably a little bit this is big big for a highlighter it's just fat it's awesome and the mirror is great so this is in Siberian gold and I am just going to oh yeah for a blush sorry I should tell you what brushes I'm using I use the MAC uh, I don't know but it looks like this all these brushes are old um no wrong brush Sorry, I'm tired. Okay, I'm going to be taking the Morphe M510 to highlight. Oh, yes, honey. Oh. <laughs> Let me just sound like a, a dying bird real quick. Okay, moving on. I am going to, at this point, set my face with my Mario Badascu water just to bring a little more luminosity back into my skin and mix any powder in with my skin that we put on. So the last thing that I'm going to do for this look is mascara and I am going to be using two different mascaras. I am going to be using the Maybelline Lash Sensational, really hard to say, mascara. This is my absolute favorite mascara of all time, ride or die. If I had to choose one mascara for the rest of my life, it would be this one. And then I'm going to use um, the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara to darken and make my lashes a little bit fuller. Okay, so a mascara is done. I took the headband off. I'm free. No, okay. So the last thing I'm going to do in this tutorial is a little bit of lipstick. And the lipstick that I'm going to use for this is um these these this mac lip glaze uh called hot tahiti and i love this lipstick i just got it i love these things i just got <laughs> but i have been i'm just so in love with it already it's like become one of my absolute favorites and i'm just gonna pat it lightly i'm not gonna put it on fully and luckily because this is a glaze it's a little more sheerer so but it's still add a lot of color if you use it full force. <laughs> I'm just going to pat it out with my fingers. And so this is the final look. You guys, oh my gosh, I filmed my first YouTube video. This is crazy. So I hope you guys, so, 
So I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. I know I really had fun filming it, filming my first video. I just, I was really nervous, but you know, I shouldn't have been. I love uh, being able to share my makeup with you guys and just talk to the camera and be here and be happy and not think about anything else besides makeup because I love makeup. So uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, tell your friends, and I hope that I see you guys in my next video, whenever that will be, and thank you for watching, I think I already said that, but I will see you in my next, I'm rambling, and I'm going to keep saying the same things over and over, but have a good rest of your day or night, wherever you are, and I'll see you next time.